In New Orleans, Louisiana, Chef Benoit Angulo is delivering big Latin American flavors with some Creole flair out of his little kitchen called La Cocinita. Mm, so good. Here, signature dishes include a Venezuelan slow braised beef pita with cilantro avocado sauce, a fried plantain chicken sandwich with spicy sweet potato mash, and a poblano pepper beef burger with chorizo sausage. Mm, that's great. Wow. For a little kitchen, they've got more flavors than the UN has flags, and I salute them for it. <laughs> this is like Cocinita. It's delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's definitely the best food truck that I've had in New Orleans. I'm Benoit. And I'm Rachel. And we're bringing Latin American inspired food to the streets of New Orleans. Definitely a nice mix of Venezuela and New Orleans, mm. I would say. It is in Arepas. These are to die for. We taste this truck all around the city. Comida de la calle means food from the streets. Latin American food is what I grew up with. I like the fact that it's Venezuelan food, but I know I'm in New Orleans when I'm eating it. We have all these Latin American flavors. In the context of New Orleans, we're using that Creole flair to it. This is a bun made out of plantain. I've never seen it before. Mm. Yeah. And arepas. There's everything in there. Veggie, meat, cheese. Venezuelan arepas. The best way to describe them, they're Latin American pita pockets that we make with cornmeal. It's all about the consistency of the dough. Start with water, salt, oil, and then pour your cornmeal. Stir it, make a bowl, start turning it just like that. The beauty about the cornmeal, it's going to give it a really crunchy texture. The top off our Venezuelan arepas, guasacaca. The guasacaca is sort of like the Venezuelan guacamole. It's really fresh. Avocado, cilantro, it's an amazing sauce. Hello. I'm so happy. Put a little bit of our guasacaca, some of this queso fresco. Ta-da! Muchacho. Muchacho is literally slow braised beef. We're going to make it Venezuelan style. Antro chili powder, oregano, and malta, which is literally a malted soda that's been sweetened with molasses. Muchacho. Guasacaca, queso fresco, pickled cabbage slaw. Gives a little crunch, and there you go. Venezuelan street food in the streets of New Orleans. Delicious. A crunchy exterior, then the beef, which is incredible. This brisket is off the chain. And then you got the corn, the crunch. Mm. You get to that brisket, it's so juicy, and the creamy avocado seals the deal for me. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. The patacones criollos, they're little plantain sandwiches. We're making patacones criollos, crispy fried plantain sandwich that I grew up eating in Venezuela. We're going to start with boneless, skinless chicken thighs, house seasoning cumin, a little bit of curry, and some chili powder. So now for the sauce for the chicken, the adobo sauce. Onions, green peppers, celery, poblano peppers with some garlic. Should be good to go. We have our adobo seasoned chicken. Raise it in the oven. And here we go. Chicken adobo. I wish you could be here because it smells amazing. Our patacones. This is a green plantain. Cousin of the banana. It's a little bit starchier. We got this fabulous little gadget. There you go. Fry them a second time. Here we go. They're actually nice and crunchy on the outside. Let's put our sandwich together. First thing we do, put a little bit of the chipotle crema. Nice and smoky and spicy chili. Sweet potato mash. Nice and rustic. Very rich, creamy. Adobo braised chicken. Chipotle crema on top. Cotija cheese. Essentially, the Latin American Parmesan cheese. Patacona criollos a la cocinita. How about that? It's the Latin American version of a chicken slider. The bun is really crispy. You can taste smooth cream on the inside as well. There's a lot of different layers of flavors in this. I could eat this chicken for days. <laughs> Can I have the sliders, please? This is a poblano pepper slider. Everybody's heard of a bacon cheeseburger, right? Well, here at La Cocinita, we turn it into our roasted poblano sliders. First step, our beef, the saute onions, poblano's garlic, garlic powder, chipotle powder, and a pinch of cumin. Mix it with our beef, make the patty. The bacon component, we use Spanish chorizo, spicy paprika, lots of pork flavor. Toss this fresh corn on top of it, griddle some queso fresco, season it with a little bit of chipotle. Burger is nice and charred. We're going to top it off with the chorizo and corn, queso fresco, French dinner rolls, roasted garlic aioli that we make on the truck. Patty is nice and crisp. Our roasted poblano slider. It's going to blow your mind. Mm. Patty's really juicy. There's a little bit of spiciness coming in with the peppers. The bun is great. It's got sort of a sweet, buttery texture. The whole thing is really savory. So good. Next up, we bite into the freshest lobster rolls on the East Coast with the Bite Into Maine trailer in Portland, Maine. Really fresh, a lot of flavor. Rain or shine, this is the best lobster roll for me. Mm. 